So basically what you just saw was a no kill live catch trap made by yours truly. Now what you're currently seeing is me in a hoodie because I kind of cut my hair. I don't know, it's cool, I like it, I do like it. I just think it might take some time to grow on me. But seriously, so a couple days back, man, realized that we had a mouse, one mouse, not a bunch of mice. It was not a mice problem, believe me. I've checked, I looked up, down, side to side, up again, and down, and directly center. I can assure you, there was only one mouse inside this house. Anyway, so real quick, let's talk about how I discovered there was even a mouse in the house in the first place. So, one night, I was cooking something, right? And I was at the oven, Doing my thing, I don't even remember what it was I was cooking, but I saw something dart out of the corner of my eye. And I was looking around, I didn't see nothing. Well, if you know anything about me, which you're about to learn if you don't know already, I can feel people coming into rooms. I you know how that feeling is, a lot of people are like that, but mine is like kind of heightened sometimes. But anyway, what ended up happening was, after I saw this entity, shadow, whatever it was, dart out of the corner of my eye, I knew that I wasn't going crazy. I knew I didn't drop any food, and we dang sure ain't got no pets in this house. So, I decided to sit still and not move. I didn't move a muscle. I just stared in the direction of wherever I saw this demon, whatever it was, travel from one end of my kitchen to the other. I stood silently, and I probably, I'd say, uh, maybe like 10 seconds passed, and I started to double, double, uh, second guess myself and think maybe I might be going crazy because I was by myself and then right when I was about to turn around out from underneath my closet door scurries a little mouse sees me we connect eyes I'm looking dead at this mouse and in back of my mind I'm thinking if I had a cup or a bucket I'd put it over top of you and you wouldn't be going anywhere but in that moment of us locking eyes like when I say locking eyes I mean every bit of locking eyes it was like a gaze for maybe a good three seconds both of us snapped out of it, realized either he's going to come after me, which would be the mouse, or he's going to get away, which would be me. So we both went into action. So I lunged toward it. I was going to try to catch it. And the only thing that he could do was try to scurry away. So we ended up getting like this, you know, like on the cartoons where like the, the, the animal or the person might be running in place and it's like a, a, a scurry of smoke and they don't get anywhere for like 10 seconds. But that's what happened with the mouse. So, got away, went underneath the closet. So I started doing some investigating. If you saw my, uh, if you're following me on Instagram, you would've saw a while back, I made this makeshift ghetto little containment thing for this little bitty mouse. And uh, that didn't work. I didn't see him for a couple weeks. Well, I started hearing stuff in my oven after that day. Didn't think anything about it. I thought maybe it was like gas pressure because it's a gas range oven. Uh, kind of releasing after a while, but I noticed that like this didn't happen before, you know, this type of stuff didn't happen. Long story short, man, I ended up discovering that this mouse was chilling inside my oven. So I started doing research online, you know, I'm looking up uh, live catch. Um, traps and things like that and uh, do-it-yourself videos on like how to make your own traps and all that stuff and a lot of them seem like they would work but there was only one problem I didn't like the design and I didn't like the design in a lot of them so what I ended up doing is I used one of the designs that I liked since I knew that the mouse was getting up on my counter because he would leave me present sometimes um, I used one of the designs where it took a cardboard tube from a paper towel roll. I glued another magnet to the bottom of that, put peanut butter on the end of that, 
Um, but I, I did it the way that I did it, like putting the magnet down in the middle of the tube and then on the counter, I did it that way because these mice aren't stupid. Number one, they can jump super high. I used to own, I used to have two mice when I was younger. And these things can jump out the gym. They got like a 13 inch vertical. It's like almost four times their, their height or length or whatever. So um, knowing that about him, I knew it wasn't stupid. I knew he would investigate the trap. And if there was any signs of like, uh, you know, give or anything like that in the trap, he wouldn't go for it. So that's why I put the magnet to stabilize it. So I did that. And at the bottom on the other end, um, was a trash can. So when he went to the end of the tunnel to get the peanut butter, fell into the trash can, bada boom, bada bang, and it was done. Well, the first rendition of this didn't work out so well. So what I ended up doing is putting a counterweight on the other end with two pennies using a bottle cap, glued that on top to kind of give it a little bit more stability and um, it worked. So, and oh, let me, let me explain this too. I don't live in a nasty house. My house is not like gross. It ain't, you know, we don't just have Bug, uh, not bug, we got bugs. We don't just have like food and trash and stuff sitting around. What was going on during this time, right before this happened is beginning and around November through late December, we had had our house up on the market. And we noticed a lot of times when we come home, we'd have doors left open from people coming to view the house. We'd have, um, mostly it was just doors, like doors unlocked or left open for people coming to see the house, people prodding and messing with stuff on the outside exterior of the house and move stuff around. And we've been in this house for over two years and have not had any problems with mice at all, at all. But did some research, started to find out that mice tend to look for warmer climates, i.e. your home during the winter months or when it starts to get colder. So you couple that with people leaving doors open and all that stuff, that's what it is. We ended up having this one mouse and uh, I caught him I mean, at 3 a.m., I caught him, drove him like miles away. Right now it's 4.30 in the morning. I've been battling this little guy for the longest. Um, it is extremely cold out. I gotta find a warm place to drop him off at. Otherwise, his chances of survival just aren't, aren't that high and um, I really just couldn't go to sleep knowing that he or she would die on my watch so I'm about to head out and find a place successfully free at a dumpster got a shed right beside it and I feel better about myself and it's time for me to go to sleep hey some people might say I might have set them up to die uh, by doing that but let me just tell you something these mice ain't stupid they can take care of themselves I just wasn't gonna be okay with killing a mouse I, that ain't me that's just not me it doesn't mean I'm a good person doesn't mean I'm super super nice Anything like that, it just means that I don't kill stuff. I just don't want to. I don't, I mean, cause all right, forget it. Even if you're not vegan or even if you don't care about animals. Say there's a bug on that wall, right? And, or a cockroach on that wall. If I walk up to that wall and smack the cockroach, two things are gonna happen. One, cockroach will die. Two, I'm gonna have a bunch of smudge and peanut butter cream all over the wall to clean up. 
And oh, and another thing's gonna happen. I'm gonna feel the texture underneath that crunch. I don't wanna deal with that. I just don't. Don't mean you're soft, it just means you're smart. I'd much rather go catch it, release it, rinse and repeat if I have to, but then I don't have to clean up my wall. I don't have to worry about uh, cockroach smudge, cockroach juice all over my wall. I can just go on with my life. He can go on with his life and we can both live happy and I got good vibes coming my way back and forth and we good. So it was no different with the mouse. Now I will say, I'll kill a mosquito. I'll kill a tick. If it's on me, uh, if it's coming near me, like, to, to do harm to me. If it's a bug or an animal and it's coming hard to do harm to me, hey, I'm gonna defend myself. I'm sorry. I don't care about I don't I don't care about this uh kumbayaness. If you're coming to mess with me and annoy me, you're gonna get dealt with. I, I know there's some vegan YouTubers on here that say up and down and back and forth to the cows come home that they would never kill a bug or an animal or anything like that, but Y'all know, y'all be hiking, especially some of y'all hikers. Y'all be out there swatting flies and killing mosquitoes. But the unnecessary killing part, man, I don't, I don't have to kill a mouse. I don't, I don't have to. Didn't attack me, doesn't do anything to me. It could put you at risk for some diseases and some complications, so I had to get rid of it. That was first and foremost. But um, killing it would have been like far, far from my options, my list of options. So that's what I did. Oh, well, I didn't kill it. I'm saying that like the trap is what I did and I got rid of it. You got it. You saw it. You know what's going on. The good thing out of all this is we ended up immediately ordering all new appliances. So I'm excited about some cooking videos coming up because it's going to look way better. It's going to look good. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go get something to eat now. 